Hi everyone, Mr. Beacom here. Today we're going to learn how to make a picture frame. I'm going to use the simplest of all joints in this project, a butt joint. I'm going to make my frame out of oak. To begin, I'm going to cut four planks out of some boards I've got in my workshop. Here, I'm ripping the oak board on my table saw. Safety is vitally important and your hands must stay 300 millimeters away from the blade at all times. You can see the push sticks I'm using. Next, I'm going to draw a line at 90 degrees to the straight edge. I do this with a tri-square and a pencil. Now I'm going to cut off this waste wood. To do this I'm going to use my tenon saw. It's got a nice stiff spine on the top of the saw which keeps the blade nice and straight. To help me get an accurate cut I'm going to clamp a piece of wood along the line with a G-clamp and use it as a guide for my saw. I'm going to hold my saw with my first finger pointing along the spine. This helps me keep my saw straight and my cut accurate. Next I'm going to mark the required length of one of the rails. Again, squaring it across with my tri-square and pencil. Now I'm going to cut the reel to length. I'll need to repeat this process for all four sides of the frame. Here are the four pieces of oak I've selected. In my frame the horizontal pieces are called styles, the vertical pieces are called reels. The glass in a picture frame sits in a rectangular groove called a rebate. I'm going to use my router table to cut a rebate in the two reels and a stopped rebate in the two styles. Here you see the router cutter and my piece of oak. This is one of the styles. This is the edge I will cut the stopped rebate in. Okay. 
In a stop rebate, the rebate doesn't go all the way to the end of the style. I need to start with a plunge cut and stop at the required distance. Here you can see the glass sitting in the rebate. Now I need to position the butt joint. Here I've marked two lines. This is where I'm going to add a biscuit. This will seriously strengthen the joint. Here we see a biscuit. It's a little piece of wood. It's going to fit in a slot in the end of one of the reels. I'm going to cut the slot exactly in line with both of these marks. I'm going to cut the slot with my biscuit joiner. This is where the blade comes out. You can see it, it's like a little circular saw. I'm going to line this triangle up with the mark I made previously on the end of my reel. Here's my mark. There's the little triangle. Let's get them lined up. Line the marks up and slowly plunge the biscuit joiner into the end of the wood. Now repeat the process for the corresponding style. Now we are going to dry cramp the frame together. This means without adding glue. We always do this before we add glue to make sure we haven't made any mistakes. We are going to use sash clamps for this process. Set your pin in the adjustable end stop and a waste piece of wood to prevent your oak frame getting damaged. Adjust the tommy bar on the other side of the sash clamp again using a piece of waste wood to avoid any damage to your frame. Repeat for the other reel and if all looks good and square loosen clamps off slightly, add glue and tighten up and leave overnight. 
When the glue is dry, you can take your frame out of the clamps. Now it's time for finishing. Here I'm using wax, which I'm applying with a cloth. Now I've waxed the frame, time to prepare the back. This will hold the glass and picture in place. The back is a piece of hardboard. It's going to be held in place with some small screws. Here I'm marking the positions where the small screws are going to go. Now I'm going to drill a clearance hole for the screws to fit through. Here I'm doing a process called countersinking. This cleans up the top of the drilled hole and allows a small shoulder for the screw to sit in. It means the screw sits flush and is nice and tidy at the back. Because oak is an extremely hard wood, we're going to have to drill some pilot holes here and here. This is going to allow us to screw the screws in much more easily. Now that the back's on, the last job I have to do is attach these mirror hangers. They're a good way to securely attach our picture to the wall. Let's drill some pilot holes. Fix them on with some small screws. Our picture frame's finished now. We can hang it on the wall. <laughs>